You absolutely need to come to these events, not only because you're showing the work you've done, but also you're really learning firsthand and there's nothing that can replace the person to person interactions. And that's not necessarily just at a talk, that's actually at the coffee, that's at the symposium dinner, that's afterwards going up to do a tour. All of these things are really important to build relationships and to promote collaboration. This type of symposiums brings uh, different ideas and people from um, different countries and we know that different countries have different resources and therefore uh, it is good to hear what other countries are doing in order to address this common problem which is uh, the plastics issue. These kind of events uh, promote the conversion from academic research to industrial uh, um, research and development as well. Last night there was a poster session and uh, we had some very interesting talks because people are doing similar research so it's very nice to make contacts and also we will collaborate in future to evaluate our experiments. It's important to, to share between biologists and chemists about the circularity of uh, the projects and the biopolymers to create a more sustainable world. We've met a lot of people here who we would not have met otherwise. There's opportunity for collaboration that we would not have gotten otherwise. There were ideas that we would have not gotten otherwise. So yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, hopefully it keeps going. Everyone is there. Arms. Yeah. The scientific level, uh, this time I can see that there are many young uh, participants, uh, many students are presenting, uh, and also some very senior uh, researchers. Uh, so there, there are different levels of scientific qualities. Uh, some are good, some are beginners, but overall it is very good, especially the new ideas. I think it's a good blend of very high concept um, ideas and versus very detailed investigation. So we get very nice um, blend of um, different approaches. Um, so if you want to go into detail, there's people who like going into detail. And if you want a more holistic and like well-rounded approach, we get that sort of um, people presenting as well. A characteristic of this symposium is that we have expertise in many different fields, engineering, synthetic biology, material science. So I think that we have the top science in all these fields and then we can synergistically work together and have a really nice things together. I think it's a very high level and it's a very good that all are working on PHA. So you can really understand the talks and also uh, get some information of something that's related to your research but from a different group. I can say it's absolutely excellent. I mean, ISBP has, is really the top level, yeah? So I, it's something that anybody in this area in biopolymers aspires to attend and to present at. I mean, it's really top, top quality. This symposium is something that I've been attending for many times now and I think uh, it has been organized very well and the participants are from all over the world and I think it is a very nice successful symposium. It is um, nice, it's international, you, it's a very good opportunity to actually see what is done around the world, you know, because normally we are limited regionally but now because you get 
researcher from Europe, Asia, the Americas, to get everything. We have the time to discuss uh, personally, face to face, uh, about many projects, collaboration, the things that are trending, and I think that they are really key. And just to focus in one issue, like our favorite issue that is PHA, and to discuss all about it. I appreciate that I can join this symposium because there's a great mix about uh, um, scientists that are from academia and researchers from industry, and I think they um, really communicate very well. The ISPP is a well-established event. Uh, it's a fantastic networking opportunity. We're learning so much, uh, so many new young researchers as well. Um, I think it's a huge opportunity uh, to learn more. So yeah, we're very, I'm very happy. I think it's very nice that the whole PHA community is meeting again in person because you have, uh, compared to online events, you have this uh, coffee breaks where you can exchange about uh, your studies. So it's very important to meet and talk in person rather than online meetings where you don't see each other. I do not come directly from the field of most of the scientists that are presenting here, so for me it's really great to have so many new insights. I think I learned uh, there's quite a, a really interest in expanding the polymers, the biopolymers uh, that we're looking at. ISBP may have been traditionally around PHA, polyhydroxyalkanoates, but now you see cellulose, you see chitin, chitazan, you see other polymers as well, uh, poly, other polysaccharide polymers, but you also see that people are interested, in, for example, much more in biodegradation. So it was about synthesis of polymers and that's still important but now we see much more about the environmental impact as well so that's great. You always learn in this field because uh, there are experts in, in, in areas that are not familiar to us. So as biotechnology I always have advantages of have colleagues talking about chemistry, material science and etc. So of course wonderful symposium. Actually there are many things uh, that I have learned for example the uh, presentations from China where they are working with a uh, very interesting uh, method to produce uh, bioplastics uh, using seawater uh, and at the same time I also see a lot of efforts to use uh, different kinds of biomass here in Europe so there are many things I have learned from this conference. We've seen new techniques, there's a lot of new rheology techniques that we ran into, a lot of new materials that we wouldn't have thought about, a lot of new approaches that we haven't thought about when we are doing our work as well, yeah. I think I learned a lot and there's a lot of uh, to take home and I think it's also some groups that you maybe didn't know before you will read the papers now. You see that people are doing things that influence your research directly, yeah, it's not even indirectly, it's really some of the experiments that doing, are doing will really help us to design our own experiments. Depending on what kind of problems come to me that I have to solve, I think this is a great source of inspiration to find problems, uh, solutions. I think some of the techniques uh, that are used uh, for making bioplastics, uh, of course they are different in different countries, uh, but some of the processes are similar, especially the downstream purification of the polymer from the bacterial cells. 
I think there are many things that I've learned uh, from this conference. Um, to be fair, we've already gotten some good ideas that we'll probably start doing right away after we go back. <laughs>